Hi everyone, in this video I'll explain how you can easily take screenshots in Windows and to save them or paste them into whatever application it is you want to use them in. You might also hear some people refer to doing this as screen capture, but it's exactly the same thing. So for anyone who already knows how to do this, they'll know that it's really pretty simple. But if nobody's ever shown you how to do it, or maybe you're just not very technically minded, then it's probably not necessarily the most obvious thing in the world. But fear not, once you've watched this video for a couple of minutes, you'll be able to take screenshots yourself with no problem at all. There are several ways that you can take screenshots, but I'm just going to show you two very simple ways where you don't need to install anything or download anything. Everything you need is right on your computer already. The first method is just using the keyboard print screen key. And the second method is using the Windows Ink workspace program. Okay, so let's get going. So just supposing we have something on this web page that we want to take a screenshot of. Let's find something interesting on here. Okay, let's use this. The first method I'll show you is super simple. All you need to do is press the print screen key on your keyboard. If you have a fairly traditional keyboard, you'll probably find it to the right of your F12 function key or at least somewhere quite close to that. If you have a laptop, then it may not actually say print screen. It may be abbreviated to PRT SCR or PRT SC, for example, but it will probably be on there somewhere. If you really can't find a key that looks like that, then it may be that one of your function keys is already set up to do the same thing in which case you may want to check out the manual for your laptop. No worries if you can't figure it out though, as the second method I'll show you doesn't rely on using the print screen key. All right, so now you've pressed your print screen key, and although you don't actually see anything different, a screenshot has actually already been saved to your clipboard. If you're not sure what I mean by clipboard, then just think of it as an area of your computer's memory where you copy and paste things to and from. So right now, even though you don't see the screenshot, you could go into some other application like a word processor or email and simply paste in the image directly from your clipboard. And that'll work just fine. You don't have to save it in advance or anything. But you may want to save the screenshot to a file on your computer so that's easy too. So to begin with, just fire up an image editor program. In this case, we'll use the Windows Paint program just for simplicity, but you could save the image using all kinds of programs if you wanted. If you're not sure how to find the Paint program, just type Paint into the search bar there and you should see the option come up. Paint comes free with Windows, so it will be on there somewhere. Okay, so we're in the Paint program, and you can see the Paste button in the top left. All you need to do is just click on that button, and there's our screenshot. But we still have to save it, so just click on the disk icon at the very top, or use the menu and we can save the image to wherever we like, and then we can access it anytime we need to. So just to prove that it's working okay, here's our word processor, and we can find that image on our computer and then insert it into this document. So here's the image we saved, and click on that, and here we are. For the first method, that's all there is to it. Okay, so that was the first method, which is pretty handy, but it's quite basic as you don't have any ability to edit or crop the image before you save it. With the second method I'll show you, you can take a screenshot and just save a portion of it if you want to, or write on it, or any number of other things. The second method is popular to use on touchscreen devices because it's designed mostly to work with touchscreen devices and styluses but it still works just fine on other computers. And I find it can be pretty useful for editing screenshots before you save them. 
So this second method uses the built-in program called Windows Inc Workspace. This comes by default with Windows 10, but I'm not sure if it's available in prior versions of Windows or not. It could be, but I'm not certain. If you can see where my mouse is in the bottom right, you can hopefully see this little icon here. And if I click on it, then you'll see two options appear, whiteboard and full screen snip. If you don't see the icon in your icon tray there, then Windows Inc probably just needs to be made visible. All you need to do is right click on some empty portion of your taskbar and you'll see a list of options appear. Show Windows Inc workspace button will be one of them. So just select that and the icon should appear. Okay, let's go back to our Formula One web page. This time we're gonna use the Windows Inc program to do our screenshot. So just click on the Windows Inc icon in the icon tray next to the clock and select the full screen snip option, which appears. Then you should automatically get the snip and sketch window open up with our new screenshot in it. You can edit the image quite a bit in here, but I'm just gonna show you how to crop the image and how to save it. So to crop the image, just select this icon here, the square shape with a line through it, and you'll see the cropping tool appear. With this, you can select any portion of the image you want to save. If you want to get out of the cropping tool without changing the image, just click on the circular cancel icon in the top right. Okay, so let's just select the portion of the image that we want to keep. And this looks okay. Then all we do is click on the tick icon, which will take us back into the main editor again. The image isn't saved yet though, so to do that, all we do is click the disk icon at the top and save it to our computer. That's it. There are quite a few nice features in the Windows Inc program which you can use to edit your screenshots before saving them. But if all you need is a very basic screenshot, then the first method is probably the easiest. And of course, you can always edit the saved images later anyway. All right, so that's a wrap. If you like the video, then clicking on the like and subscribe buttons would be much appreciated. But I hope you found the information useful anyway. Thanks for watching. See you next time. If you like this video, please take a moment just to click the like and the subscribe buttons below. Your support is much appreciated. Thank you for watching.